don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification if you want to see more video. Welcome back everyone, today I'm going to review Browning M250 Cal. Let's jump into it. Okay, this is how it looks from this side, this side, okay. This is plastic, this is click and hide, this is parts name, this is low X50, okay. Let's remove this part. Now we we are we are going to review a single fire. As you can see here, let's fire it. Okay. In single fire, when you press this trigger, it will go up. Uh, the it will not go up. It will push up the trigger lever in the side. Okay. Wait a minute. You see here, it will push this trigger lever here, and this trigger lever will, this side will go down and push down the sear. The sear is connected to the firing pin extension and the firing pin, so, so it pull, you, when you pull the trigger, trigger lever will push down the sear, the sear will disconnect from the trigger, uh, the, the from the firing pin extension and will release the firing pin firing it's firing and you can see here okay wait a minute okay you can see so when the round is firing inside the barrel it will push the barrel back like from the blowback action okay not blowback action like the the blowback reaction re recoil from your firing so when you're firing so the recoil the recoil will move the barrel and the barrel extension back but it will be stopped by this by this accelerator and the barrel extension shank and the buffer spring it will absorb the recoil so it will stop the barrel from moving too far and it will it will slow the bolt a little bit the bolt have this recoil spring okay you see so it's firing and then and this, and this bolt latch will will hold the bolt this is bolt latch will this bolt latch will hold the bolt as you can see here it hold it in that position until you press this button this bolt latch lever to remove the bolt latch so you can have have the bolt go forward and put the round into the chamber just like that now let's try it one more time firing releasing the bolt So you can see here, this bent arm is set on top of the round, ready to pull it out from the belt. So when you fire in, and the recoil happen, it will pull pull back, pull back the round. You see here, it was sitting on top of the rim of the round, and then into this position. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, you see here. So this top cover will push down this bent arm. You see that? Yep. Yeah. So you see that? Okay. Now it will push down. So the the fresh round will push down. Will push out the. So the fresh round will push down the 
empty shell okay and then it will sit uh, the bent arm will sit in this position so extractor switch is right here so when it go forward like that you see now back into the position just like that okay let's continue one more time okay so so this is uh, how okay that's single fire this is full auto in full auto basically you keep the bolt ledge up wait a minute So you keep the bolt latch up into the position so the bolt latch will not engage the bolt when you're firing so let's see it in full auto so basically we pull down the trigger okay just like single fire it will fire but as you can see here this bolt latch did not engage the bolt so it will just keep firing as long you as long as you uh, keep the trigger pressed okay because because if you keep the trigger pressed every time the bolt in this position the sear will be pushed down and automatically disengage the firing pin okay so just like that okay i'm gonna hold the trigger and you can see how it works You can see that right uh, the trigger arm is pushing down the sear automatically so that's what allow the automatic like full auto firing now how it the around uh, the belt felt mechanism the belt fit you can see in slow so here the belt fit lever following the root on top of the belt of the bolt so it will the belt the belt feet lever is following the root on top of the bolt so it will move this belt fit slide assembly from uh, from the left it move it the position was in the right it move into the left over the round and then it will hook uh, the this this part this part belt fit pro will pull will uh, drag the round into the into the right okay so you can see it from here Okay, move over and then drag the run next. Okay, just like that. Just like that. Okay. So that's it now uh, let's reload it while there is a round in the box okay how you reload that you just do that you lift this bent arm and putting uh, so 
So you put fresh run just like that. So remember this part, bent arm. You remove it and you pull it up. Remove the belt. Put in put in new belt. Just like that. You are firing. Okay, now how we reload when the the box is empty. Now how you reload it? Okay, I'm gonna put it in slow. Okay, so change the box. Press the box. You have this. You have this part, which is you cannot click. Okay, that's fine. So you pull it with the belt, like tail. You pull it into. Uh, you pull it like that. And then you cock it once. Okay. Oh, you cock it. You cock it twice. Okay. Just like that. Okay. So just like that. firing and slow okay so you can see the barrel here is moving back and forward okay so it's using recoil cycle the system okay so yeah that's it thank you for for watching and if you want to give donation don't forget uh, we have we have donation link on our Twitter account if you're interested in donating if not then there's no problem okay so, yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching everyone. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.